numerous employees fleeing from the building. Uh, it was very chaotic, as you can imagine. Um, we did encounter one victim with an apparent gunshot wound uh, towards the front of the business as we arrived. Uh, several minutes later, while conducting a search of the premises, uh, officers located a second uh, individual with a gunshot wound that appears to uh, may have been self-inflicted. We are still working on confirming that. Um, two additional victims were uh, located um, several minutes later uh, at an adjacent business. Um, the, the extent of all of the injuries of our victims um, are, are unknown right now. They were all transported for emergency medical care, um, but they are all unknown. So if I miss that, we, um, we have four victims um, who have all been transported for, uh, for gunshot-related injuries, and we have one subject um, who is uh, deceased inside the uh, building uh, with a self-inflicted wound that at this time uh, we believe to be the shooter, but we're still following up on that. Um, uh, multiple law enforcement agencies have responded to assist. We're very grateful for everyone's help and assistance. Uh, we could not have responded and accomplished this without everybody's help. Uh, this is an active event and an active investigation, and uh, numerous uh, uh, law enforcement personnel from numerous different local agencies are still conducting a search of the business just to make sure that uh, that it is clear. We conducted a, uh, a quick, immediate uh, uh, search of the premises um, when the first officers arrived as pursuant to our active shooter protocol. And after that search was concluded, now we're going through with a methodical, slow search just to make sure that we cover all the bases. Uh, that's all I have for you at this time. Um, we hope to have something uh, a little later. I cannot give you, I'm sorry, excuse me, I cannot give you uh, the time of the next press update, but we'll put that out as soon as we have that information. I'm sorry. I cannot confirm that. Uh, it's a female. Yes. Uh, my understanding is that uh, they, they all are, they've been transported and they're being treated for injuries that are, that are treatable. Are We're hoping for the best, obviously. Are there more people inside the building or? Uh, I, my understanding is the building has been evacuated. There are uh, people in the immediate area. We're obviously trying to contact a, a, a large amount of people to try to identify and uh, gain some information from witnesses at the scene. So you can imagine it's, it's, a, it's a monumental task uh, with the number of employees that work inside the building. Chief, can you tell us about what weapon or weapons? I'm sorry? Can you tell us about what weapon or weapons were coming? I don't have that information. I'm sorry. Do you have the so police we have. I, I haven't even. I haven't taken inventory of all the agencies here. There are numerous agencies. We work well with our neighboring partners, and, and we're grateful that they're here. But there's a lot of them. Do you have your gender? Yeah. She. She. Well. well we're, we. I want to clarify that we did find. We did locate a victim with a with a. Uh, so we believe to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It's a female. Uh, but the investigation is still ongoing before we can put all the pieces together. Is this person an ex-employee? I have no. I don't have any information regarding are you that. For another shooter? Uh, we are clearing the building and searching the building in a slow, methodical manner, like we would do anyway. So we haven't eliminated that possibility, but we have no information to suggest that that there's somebody uh, somebody else in there that we're looking for. Where are the employees now? We saw them walking down the street. Yeah, we, we, we eva they, a lot of employees um, self-evacuated, as you can imagine. Um, we've identified a, a group that we want to talk to, and we have staging areas where, where our detectives are reaching out to them and, and interviewing them. So we're trying to we're trying to do as orderly as we can. But a lot of people, um, pretty hectic scenario. So it's um, it's 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 a it's a task. What about how many people have evacuated? Are they still people people in that building? Are they on YouTube? Are they now besides the ones that you're you're identifying? No, we, we believe. I believe. My understanding is that the, the building has been evacuated, so they're all outside of that building. Okay, how many people are you talking about here? That you uh, have? well, several hundred, a few hundred. I'm sorry, a few hundred. It was what my understanding. In, in what floor was I you don't, talking? I don't know. And it, was it boyfriend there? That's what oh, I have no idea. I, I, it's, I have no idea. I don't know the circumstances surrounding this. And it was only one shooter. I, I, I don't want to eliminate any possibility. I don't know any of that for sure. We're, like I said, this is still active. We're still investigating this as I'm speaking to you. So there's a lot of things that I, I just simply don't know right now. Did you know that the shot started in the courtyard? Do you know anything? I don't. I don't have that information. All right. If, um, I, I will try to get you an update as soon as we can once we know more. But I think that I'm giving you almost everything that we know at this point. So uh, uh, appreciate. It. Yeah. When we know, when when we know, I don't want to give you a time because I may not have a, a lot for you. So when we can identify a time that's appropriate to to come back and update you again, we'll do that immediately. Uh, we'll probably put that out through our uh, media list and through social media. Sorry, Chief. We understand from one employee that police had to borrow badges in order to access parts of the building. Did you have any trouble getting where you? I don't have any information regarding that right now. Any problem with security at YouTube? We've heard there's not even metal detectors on the outside. 
I, I, that's, I don't. I, I not even, we're not even uh, at that point yet. We're still trying to address the situation in front of us. Okay, I will get you some more information in, in a few minutes. I don't know. I don't. I have not. They've not been identified. So that's all I have. And again, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank, Thank you. So uh, though this particular officer was uh, less specific, we've gotten other specific reports from law enforcement that the the suspected shooter is a is a female. That that suspected shooter is the woman he was just describing, who is deceased on scene. You heard him say that there was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Uh, these, the pictures you just saw of the of the uh, of the umbrella.